tell us about your long-standing collaboration yeah. uh, with Norma, uh, both in terms of uh, performance um, and recording, but also as co-writer, because there are there are a number of works where you've written the music and Norma has written the lyrics. Yeah, well, Norma was, I mean, I was 18, no, 17 when I met Norma on a jazz course. And uh, she was, at that time, she'd just recorded all the azimuth, uh, some of the azimuth records with Kenny Wheeler and John Taylor. And again, she was a heroine, you know, I mean, I just loved her. She had a, she has a way of being, gosh, the light, it's really bad here. There's like sun coming in. Do you want me to uh, shut the curtain? No, 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 sure. don't worry. Yeah, no. you look radiant, angelic. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so Norma, she has a wonderful, she, she's, she has a wonderful thing where she's not afraid to show um, fragility, but she's incredibly strong and daring and great fun and uh, amazing, amazing to sing with. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, and she's just a fantastic person as well. But so I met her on that course and I was only 17 and she, she must have been only in, maybe in her thirties or something. But over the years, you know, it's, I will say to my students, dream of playing with somebody, you know, dream, dream high. I mean, obviously it doesn't happen sometimes, but you know, when you're kind of listening to all of their music um, and you're learning the tunes they, they've learnt, again, an opportunity came up. Uh, uh, it was a women's uh, jazz festival. We said, we don't want all women on the <laughs> We said, okay, we have a mixed band because we didn't know a, a, a drummer or bass player that played Kenny's music, you know, so. We had to get the right people for the job. And in Chart, this was in Somerset. And uh, we got together and of course I knew all the tunes because I'd listened to them all and transcribed them. And so it felt really natural and lovely. And uh, I mean, it's, obviously it's, you can't follow John Taylor, but um, Norma's very generous like that. Um, you know, she works with so many people around the world and uh, is just spontaneous with whatever's happening, you know? So it's, um, and that's carried on for years. I, I um, then formed a band called The Printmakers. And it's, again, we were talking about mixed bands. I like the mixed age thing as well. So my drummer, James Madrum, who's a wonderful drummer, was about 22 or three when we first joined. I met him at the Royal Academy of Music when I was doing a project of my music and he was, he was just amazing. So he was in it and then Norma was in her seventies then. Um, and then the, the three of us in the um, um, amazing guitarist Mike Walker, same age as me, who I'd grown up with, and Mark Lockhart, a wonderful um, saxophone player, and Steve Watts, who played with Django Bates. So it's, and, it, and it's a band, it's not all original music, but it's, um, I think we all love songs. Mm -hmm. 